I'm back. <laughs> it's been over a month now. I haven't uploaded a video of the tank. It's been, you know, work, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm finally got enough time to sort of go through the tank update. A lot of bad things has happened, but now everything's on the mend. So I think the last video, I had a sort of cyanide outbreak, which I thought was dinos, but definitely cyanide. That cleared up and that is the reason why since my nitrates and my phosphates bottomed out to zero and that is because i would try getting them i had two bio blocks in a 20 gallon tank i mean that is overkill but i was told by a local fish store or whatever i know it's fine um but yeah it's not fine that literally, <laughs> literally is the reason why my uh nitrates and phosphates are just bottomed out i mean it's yeah it's overkill isn't it really so yeah, sort of done that the reason I was overfeeding stuff, wasn't working. I thought, you know what? Like, a few people said you can go overkill. So I thought, oh, I'm, I'm just going to follow these people's advice. That happened. I mean, after about a week, then, yeah, nitrate's up to like two, which is good, then up to like four. Now, now they're sitting at five, which is for me good. I want to be anywhere less than 10 is fine for me. And uh, phosphate's still a bit low, a little bit low, but they're up 0 0.03, I think. Could do a little bit higher, but it's such a yeah, chase of numbers at the minute, aren't I? So yeah, that's happened. Now tank, like the sand bed looks brand new. So what happened is I got a conch snail. I'll run through this, I'll send a video, but yeah. Just got the conch snail. That has literally cleaned my tank to looking like it's completely brand new. And also I've changed my rockscape up as well. So I'll go through this all in a video, but yeah. Uh, just wanted to update on that situation there. So I've uploaded a video since. So, yeah, bad sign outbreak. Um, tank looks horrible, long strings, bits of algae. I went on holiday for a week as well, so left my tank at home. And my dad was just looking after it for me, just doing the basics, like feeding it twice a day. And yeah, that is all I can think of. I mean, a few corals have died. I bought, I bought one or two new corals. I think only one new coral actually, the new torch. And yeah, I think that's all I can think of for what I've, yeah, what I've done since I've not been here. So yeah, I'll, get, I'll show you the tank now. So right guys, here's a new scape, which I'm about to show you. A little disclaimer about the corals, which I'll go over after the scape. A lot of these are all on the floor, jumbled up. I changed my scape, uh, scape about three days ago. So it's just trying to figure out about the flow, where's good to put things, etc. So stuff such as the uh, Goniopora, uh, wall hammer, the blaster there, which I've moved, which has gone in. Um, yeah, these are not permanent places. They're just here to sort of just try to figure out where's best to put things. So yeah, pretty good show you the escape. I mean, personally, I think it looks a lot better. Let me know. But it does look really good. I'm really happy with it. I never really stuck the um, rocks down. I've just balanced them. So hopefully they don't, yeah, fall, fall off. That won't be good. But uh, yeah, really happy with the escape. A lot of... Um, sort of places to hide or just swim around really. There's a lot more swimming space down at the front, which gives more of a better view for me. So, because I think before I'd sort of, I'd never really done a scape, I just put rock, rocks in, which is sort of stupid, but yeah, sort of a noob thing to do. But now I think it looks good I'm, and I'm happy. So yeah, as for the corals, so, um, corals that died. So I had a torch coral that died and then my digi, which is sort of on its way out, I'd say still got some uh, small little polyps on there, as you can see. But yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely on its way out. Um, I'll start over here. So yeah, the blasto. Oh yeah, by the way, all these corals I've literally moved just to make the tank look neat, even though it doesn't. So yeah, such as the uh, blasto has sort of gone in. So yeah, I think I want to keep the blasto around sort of this area here. And so let it grow into the rock, which uh, hopefully nothing really disturbs it. So you such as a conch now went like bar the like, bulldoze into it, <laughs> which is what it's literally doing to everything in my tank in a minute. Uh, wall hammer's good as well. Um, got a lot of vermitis snails in it though, so I'm probably going to have to uh, scrape them off and then move move the wall hammer somewhere near the top of the tank. Um, bubble core is doing well as well. Still need to find a permanent space for this, but it's definitely going to be down at the bottom in the low flow. My uh, goniopora here. It's not really doing too well at the minute. I mean, it's just, it's not really coming out. So I need to find 
up Y, for example. Maybe we need to do more feeding with the uh, AB+. Plus. But yeah, this, it's been a lot for about two weeks now. But it's still live, so, which is good. Uh, this, uh, I think it's a yeah, Fabia, Fabite. I'm gonna stick uh, to the rock work sort of around here, like underneath the bottom, because it's really colorful, so it does look nice. My uh, toadstool's getting really big now. And uh, the little legs on it has, it doesn't really pick up well on this camera. But yeah, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? Polyp extension, would you say for this? I'm not sure on the word, but yeah, this is looking uh, big. It's getting bigger, getting fatter as well. Same with my Lobo. Not very colourful though, I think a lot of things in my tank aren't very colourful. More like beginner calls, just to see how the tank gets on. But the tank's kind of up to eight, eight months old now, so it's, it's doing well. And then stuff like here, I've got Duncan, which is growing a few heads. I mean, it's, all of this is like frag stuff, like the frag rack. Same with the Blasto, it's got a few heads there. All of it's just quite very small. Uh, go around over here. Got my brain splatter, I can't remember the name of this one. Brain splatter core. I think it's only cost me a tenner or fiver, I think, from uh, Salty Revolution, which is good. Uh, this uh, hammer here finally split off, so the uh, heads on the right, they're finally, that's three heads now. Can't really pick it up. But yeah, that's, yeah, three heads, it's literally branched off. Uh, frog spawn here. Uh, doing well, it's quite colourful as well, which I do like. And I'm going to be purchasing some more corals soon just to, you know, brighten up tank a little bit, more colourful corals. Here's my uh, zoas, uh, blueberry pie zoas. I'm going to um, make a little zoa garden, I think, at the bottom here. Just to uh, some, get some bright zoas, just brighten the tank up down there. So this is up my desk area here, so when I look at the tank, this is sort of the main view I normally get, which is why I want to move the wave maker over that side again, but uh, it's not probably not gonna happen. I need to figure out where's best for flow. Uh, this is a new torch, my only call I've bought since the sort of crash just to replace the other one um it's doing well it doesn't really look that good on the video i think the flows yeah i need to check my flow actually but yeah this looks, yeah when it's actually moving about like this for example it looks really good and my gsp on the wall which is spreading very good and it's getting uh, very colorful as well they pick it up there i think that's the best angle but yeah so it's uh, spreading now st sticking it to itself on the wall and get a lot more fuller as well. And as for the fish, so I think last video I talked about my goby dying. Third time lucky, it's gone in there, there you go, you can see it now. Third goby lucky, praying this one <laughs> doesn't jump out. <laughs> I'm literally praying. A pistol shrimp as well. But what I noticed the other day was the pistol shrimp, when I was lifting up all my rock from the aquascape, I found a pistol shrimp burrowed and I tried showing the pistol shrimp to the goby, but I was feeding the fish at the same time. And what happened was the goby actually bit its claw off. So I don't really think they're gonna be pairing up anytime soon. I think the pistol shrimp's probably not too happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's go on to the fish. Two clowns, doing fine. Uh, yeah, really happy with these clowns. Get a, lot, a little bit bigger, a little bit more chubbier, I'd say as well. Uh, as for the Bangai Cardinal, I think he needs a little friend. Don't really like overstock this with fish though, but yeah, he needs a little friend. Uh, two uh, damsels there, Springer damsels, they're fine. And yeah, conch now, as I said at the start of the video, it's cleaned up my whole sand bed. It looks, yeah, amazing. I'm really happy with, with the conch now. Only thing is, it does, can't really put calls on the sand bed because he does sort of push them over, which is a bit annoying. But um, yeah. And then things, things such as crabs and the sari snails I've still got. I'm not really a fan of crabs though at the minute. Oh yeah, and my um, uh, red dragonette. Oh, I cannot find this in this video right now. I haven't actually found it for a while. So I'm, I think when I went on holiday, I don't know. I need to really, really look for this uh, dragonette. I think is I still I've got a lot of copods in it, so I don't think it would have starved. I mean I've been doing five packs of copods a week, so unless something happened on holiday. But when I was picking up the rock and everything, and everything, I just couldn't find him. So I'm not really sure what's happened there. I'm gonna actually look into that. I think this weekend. So at the minute he's unknown of where he is. And 
I think that now is literally everything for the video. It looks a little update. It's more, yeah, I'm start uploading again more, a lot more regularly now. And I'm also going to be purchasing uh, some crawls in the next couple of days. I think I'm going to go for more like a Euphidia garden at the top here on this rock. Get a few more nice torches. Um, very bright ones, I think, is what's due. And yeah, I mean, I think I might keep, stop with the SPS. That's not really been working out for me. It's just, yeah, one of them things, I just, I just, I just can't do it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think that is literally it from what's, what's happened. So it went, went from really bad. I was struggling for about two weeks, went on holiday, left it with my dad. And yeah, bought a conch now as soon as I came back home and yeah, cleaned up the whole tank within about three days. So if you are looking at conch snails, definitely get one to clean up your tank because it's a lot, lot better than the sari snails and the crabs. I mean, I've got one of these in my tank and it just gets through everything. Literally eating cyano like it was like chocolate. It was just, yeah, loving it. So yeah, guys, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll be, yeah, back uploading. So let me know what you want to see more, what call cool you think I should get, placement or where I should put things. And yeah guys, thank you very much and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.